Now, the government announced uh, in late 2010 its intention to abolish the national retirement age with effect from April 2011. Um, effectively, the legislation, the way it's worded, is one that says there won't be any national default retirement age, but an employer itself can choose to have a retirement age if it feels that it can have, it's a legitimate aim and a proportionate means to achieve that legitimate aim. So consequently, employers um, have had the opportunity to consider whether they might wish to have an employer justified retirement age. And the University of Cambridge is an employer that has been reviewing that over the recent months with a view to say, would we have an employer justified retirement age? And if the answer to that is, yes, we might, for what categories and types of staff and what might be the legitimate reasons to have one. So over the last few months, the university has established a working group to focus on the following. Firstly, to um, carry out some internal analysis on what has been happening in recent times with our staff in the different staff categories, um, which might have included a study on the number of retirees and how many new job opportunities they've created, as well as, for example, equality, uh, equality opportunity data, where um, has the retirements created new opportunities, which has then helped us to bring about a greater proportion of, of for example, a better gender balance at all the different grades within the university. Um, that review has then led to us having discussions, both with um, seniors within the organisation, but also the trade unions. And it has also resulted in us understanding better what might be the legitimate aims for which the university might have an employer justified retirement age. Broadly speaking, those legitimate aims for us seem to be very much around intergenerational fairness, the importance, particularly in an environment where innovation is so key, that we have every age group represented and mixed teams, but also at the same time, that actually every generation has fairness in that they've had the opportunity to apply for prestigious jobs in the University of Cambridge. Um, refreshment of the academy is a second reason, which is very important, because constantly in innovation and the creation of new knowledge, you're requiring fresh thinking, new people to be coming in, whilst at the same time, you would want some of your people to join other institution to get a real mix of that freshness. Um, within the University of Cambridge, actually we do give um, almost greater protection to our academy in order to protect their right in terms of academic freedom of thought. In that context, um, they enjoy greater security and greater tenureship during the period of the university. And what we're saying is that perhaps because they do enjoy that, that there is an agreed time at which they give that up uh, for the benefit of others to come in and enjoy it as well. And our final reason really is that we think that there is a, a reasonably good case on certain protective characteristics to say that if we have a retirement age, it will create opportunities which will allow us to improve, for example, our gender balance. Within the university, we've come to the point where we have concluded that possibly putting forward a proposal to the decision-making committees and then finally Regent House along the lines of an EJRA for academic staff is something of value and is something that um, could result in a debate and an approval. Um, consequently, um, what we're now doing is preparing what will be a final report which once approved by a general board and the University Council would go out to all Regent, um, uh, Regent House members and would result in hopefully a debate and maybe a vote, but the final approval of a policy which introduces an EJRA at age 67 for academic staff.